Brandon Marshall might be the biggest coward on the planet simply because he's on his clout chasing tour. Obviously, I've read some of the comments and a lot of people agree that he's embarrassing himself. I think the real question is, where are those people that started with him? You know, me and Channing, Ocho, all the other people that were on the show that he went to recruit after Channing and I left. Everybody disappeared. And if you were right, if you stood for anything, if your integrity was high, then people will still, you know, rock with you. But nobody's there right now. Acting like he made me. That's the thing I can't stand. How, how you make me when I made your podcast or our podcast, supposedly, but it really wasn't ours, as we found out. <laughs> then go to another one, create another thing that blows up bigger than that even was. That's the thing that got hot about me. Bitch, you ain't make me. Pauline Pope and Randy Crowder made me. Fred Taylor sit down with me, right? And like you live and you learn. And he don't put up any money. But he say he want to put up money. But he don't after a year. And my investment goes to 500 to a million dollars. And it keeps rising. And now he's asking for 25% in the company. And I'm like, bro, that just don't make sense to me. Okay, now stop. Okay. Keep your point. Have you ever received any money from Fred Taylor, Reggie Wayne, Channing, uh, Channing Crowder? No. I've paid them. They feel, I would feel if I were them, I would say, even though I never put a dime in, but I helped grow this entity mm -hmm. to what it is. I'm not owed 25%. No. What's up, everybody? This is the world famous Ed Lover, and you are watching Forgotten Kings TV. That's right. Forgotten Kings TV. Come on, son. Moments ago, Terrell Owens responded to Fred Taylor and Channing Crowder putting Brandon Marshall on blast in their recent episode of the Pivot Podcast. Moments ago on Twitter, a fan tweeted, with all of this being said about Brandon Marshall, remember he has a mental illness as well. Some of that plays into his behavior and attitude. But these dudes here are blowing up. Terrell Owens responded, can't keep giving a dude a pass because of mental illness. He's well aware of that, and when things go away, he uses it to justify his behavior and attitude. Like they said, he's bad business. I know that firsthand, all right? Another fan would then tweet, we gotta keep it a stack. I am athlete fell off since the OG crew left. They really had something special. I used to look forward to Mondays at noon when the pod dropped. Greed ruined a good thing. Terrell Owens would then respond to that tweet saying, greed. That part, the homie is shady. In addition to that, he's not paying employees, verbally abusing employees, talking reckless to them, etc. Trust me, this is just the beginning. All right, now again, that was Terrell Owens responding to Fred Taylor and Channing Crowder putting Brandon Marshall on blast in their recent episode of the Pivot Podcast. So, let's have the conversation. Recently, Brandon Marshall was on Cam Newton's podcast where he spoke about the breakup of I Am Athlete, the original crew. Now, of course, uh, Brandon Marshall did another podcast speaking about Shannon Sharp and his criticism of other players in the league. So I guess Fred, Shannon, along with Ryan Clark, said, you know what, let me respond to some of these viral clips that's been going out of Brandon Marshall speaking on the breakup. Now, just hearing Fred Taylor, right, and Shannon speak on a situation, it's, it's safe to say that there won't be any reunion of I Am Athlete anytime soon. And it's, it's unfortunate that things had to go, you know, left the way that they did. But this is what happens when money is involved. It always starts off as brotherhood, right? Uh, but once all parties, uh, you know, become aware of the money that's being brought in, now things change. Now, I will say, uh, according to Brandon, you know, let him tell it, he showed it all the expenses that came with, you know, producing the content for I Am Athlete. If that's the case, then yes, he's, you know, the one that's, reaping all the benefits. However, if all of these men came to an agreement that they all were going to be partners of this platform, I Am Athlete, for somebody like Brandon to then, you know, do something else, you know, that changes the whole dynamic of the relationship. Now, again, I don't have any paperwork here. You know, I'm not tapped into any of these men. I'm just, you know, viewing it from a fan's point of view. And I'm looking at it saying, damn, if it was me and my brothers starting off a podcast that, you know, took off and had crazy success, 
I would do anything in my power to make sure all parties are compensated, to make sure that the business is straight. However, all parties need to do their part as well. And that's that's a difficult thing about this whole situation when it comes to this beef between Brandon Marshall, Channing Crowder, and Fred Taylor. See, people have to understand when creating a successful podcast similar to I Am Athlete, all parties involved have a role to play. Yes, all parties involved have a role to play, which means... All parties have to invest in the platform. All parties have to take on the expense, right, in exchange for the revenue earned on the platform. That's just how it goes. Now, according to Fred and Shannon, Brandon Marshall was making all the money. Now, again, this is their words versus his. And according to Terrell Owens, Brandon Marshall does shady business. So y'all let me know. Whose side are you on right now? Is it Pivot Podcast? Uh, do you agree with Terrell Owens' assessment of Brandon Marshall? Or do you believe that Brandon Marshall was telling the truth? Let me know down in the comment section below. But that's all I got for y'all today. My name is Sensei Rip. Till next time. Peace.